Here we are with the materials for making an HTPC uh, wall mounted or hanging on the wall. Simple, very simple. Uh, MATX case. I think it's MATX. So here is the very sturdy PC case uh, side panel which I'm going to be using. And here's a piece of wood that I will be cutting for the sides of the case. Only two sides and two thin sides on the top on the, and on the bottom so air will get in and there will be proper ventilation. Here is some red paint, really cheap, like two bucks. Some wood filler for repairing what I <laughs> cut wrong, <laughs> or if I drill wrong or something. For measuring more precisely, for drawing a line. With this, it's a pencil. And I'll be using these to join the four corners of the case just the wooden part and here are some screws and maybe some acrylic glue kit whatever you call it potty this thing white stuff that sticks really well okay so i already decided on the dimensions it will be 18 centimeters uh, tall or wide or <laughs> thick however you want to measure it so this will be standing like this and there will be like 18 centimeters to allow for a silent uh, cooler and uh, proper airflow I can mount the power supply wherever I want and there's also this thing that bothers me. This takes away from the uh, height of the CPU cooler especially and the expansion cores. That's why I have to make it uh, 18 centimeters. Otherwise maybe 16 would be enough. But I'll do an 18. So yeah. And the sides will be mounted here. <laughs> So there are these little, uh, what what do you call them, metal uh, grippy things that uh, were useful for the original computer case. Now it's not useful, but I don't want to cut them off. I will instead uh, drill into the uh, wood so it will fit on it and hopefully there will be no problem. I also hope to use only glue on this part, gluing the metal to the wood. Eventually I may use a few screws, but uh, yeah, it's not really necessary. So this will hold the four sides and let's see, we need two uh, 18 centimeter tall pieces. And the length is already appropriate, so I can put two of them, excuse me, uh, like that. And there's enough space here for the vertical or perpendicular part, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. I still don't know how it will exactly stay but uh, it will come to me <laughs> so let's see first of all let's see if it, this thing is straight yes this edge is straight and here we have a door handle so i want to use this part and let's measure 18 centimeters right over here And let's mark it. A 
15. Congratulations, you're an adult. 18 here. Like that. And let's draw a line. Hopefully this is also straight. Let's see. Uh, mostly straight. But whatever, I don't care. This is... Uh, this will be painted and nobody will notice. Even if it's not straight. So let's uh, draw a line here. Like that. Wait. Yeah, there. And here. This is poor lighting. You can see better on the camera, but here I see very poorly. Maybe because I'm getting old too. So here, 18 centimeters. Yeah. Let's double check. Ah, 18 and a, one and a half. Yeah, perfect on both sides. Okay. And one more to uh, I don't want to put one more line. I will just uh, uh, saw it down and then mark it on the rest of the board. So cover your ears. I will use the saw. Actually, let me close the window because it's night. I don't want to bother anyone. Okay, it's all clear. I can saw. Can you see me saw? I saw here. Can you see me? <laughs> like that. And I can see the line. That's also good. So let's start cutting. That hurt my ears <laughs> but here we have a mostly clean cut it's not the proper tool I use this is a speed wood blade this is not recommended for anything this is just uh, to cut up long stuff into shorter stuff and then you uh, grind it or something but uh, the result is usually not very accurate and all bad in a bad shape bendy and stuff yeah it's mostly straight i don't care yeah look mostly straight <laughs> okay so let's have another one let's mark this 
Oh. Clean it first or something. And let's mark it with the pencil and then cut the line, exactly the line. Don't go over it. Then the two pieces will be identical. I mean, not really identical, but the same width, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, one more time, close your ears. I will be sawing. Come to think of it, let me put on some headphones. That will protect me. Like these, <laughs> really old headphones with cut wires. They take off like 20 decibels. That's enough to protect you. I can use all, kind of, all kinds of power tools with this. And my ears won't hurt. So cut the line. but I have no patience right now so I think they are of similar size <laughs> similar okay so these two will go here like this glued on maybe screwed on like that and I need I think I'll only put one, like here, somewhere, like that, or I don't know, I don't know yet. Hmm, how should I do this, so it will make more sense. First, let's measure the width, like here, yeah! I totally see that. It's one centimeter. Let me check on something else. Yeah, mostly one centimeter. So I was right. I said it's one centimeter in another video without measuring it. Okay. So this piece of wood will have to fit above them so it will be the entire length like this oh and this is the part with the door handle uh, okay so it will be raised like this to be in the same level and there will be enough space for exhaust or no not for exhaust this will be the cable the cables will come out here under this like that yeah that would be best i think okay let me stop the recording and i'll be back so i decided that i will cut this in exactly two two halves and I will have to cut from the length. This part with the handle will be on top where it doesn't bother anything. And the clearer part will be on the bottom. And here the cables will come out. The power supply will be on this side. And it will have an intake or outlet. I mean air. I think it will blow down. I, I can't do anything about it. I don't want to put it on top where all the heat is, 
because in a vertical case the top is always the hottest and that's not good for a power supply. I want the top to be mostly empty. So everything will be, every major component will be here. The processor, the video card, power supply. And then all the hot air can escape and cool air comes in from under. So yeah, let's mark it. First for length. Let's see, it will, it has, one part has to be exactly this length. Where did I put the pencil? Here it is. So here, and cut the line, not near the line, like that. And then measure the center, which is bow. I can't measure. Uh, thirteen point six and a half. The other side. 13.6 okay let's let's use 13.6 and that's 653 am i saying that right 653 yeah <laughs> 653 so that will be 650 What am I saying? <laughs> that's not 53, that's 6.8. Oh boy, it's late. Hopefully this is the middle. So 6.8 from here, 6.8 from here. <laughs> okay, I glad I'm glad I not putting it on YouTube or anything. <laughs> oh, fail. I don't know when I slept la last time, but it wasn't for long. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see it, it's there. Okay. 6.8 here. <laughs> Man, am I stupid. 6.8 right there and let's use this maybe like that wait where did the line go it's right there and right there and cut. It doesn't really matter. One side can be bigger. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So yeah, cover your ears. I will cut this first, the length. That's ugly. That is speed wood. That's how it looks. But I will correct it. I have this paste and paint and every tool. I don't have to care that much. So now the long cut. Which one has the handle? Uh, it doesn't matter. The handle will be on the top and it will be the shorter one.
almost. I'm almost at the end. Okay. So here are the two pieces and uh, one is bigger and uh, bad shape and uh, curvy and all uh, sorts <laughs> but I don't care I can always correct that or just don't care let me try I have one of these sanders not Bernie Sanders just sander I can Nah, not worth it. It will be fine. So like this. This will be here. Yes, this is the bottom, okay. And the other one needs to be shorter by two centimeters exactly. Or I can just mount it as is. Nobody cares how the top looks. <laughs> yeah, it can stick out, no problem. Yeah, I will fix it with something, glue on something or whatever, I don't care. So yeah, I can almost try to assemble it right now, like here. Like that. Oh no, <laughs> I'm stupid. This has to go on the outside, like that. And this doesn't stay. But, yeah. Let me just check the sizes. Uh, excuse me. So when this is here, on the edge, and this is here. Okay. And this can go there. Perfect. So yeah, that's what I'll do. And on the other side, I'm not going to run into problems because there's lots of space for errors and stuff. Okay, so I need a drill for that, I think, and a screwdriver. screwdriver and drill. Let's just plug it in. Maybe I need a chair to sit down for this operation. So let's see. The flat bones connected to the other bone and all the bones are connected to each other. And the patient's dead. So, uh, yeah, where are the those metal things? If I put one here, like that, then the height is very important to be here. Yeah. And these are not all good. 
some are bent differently, I don't know why. Look. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't matter much. So, let's see that. And some screws that don't go through the material. Let's start screwing it. So, I can do this trick. Put this here, like that. And it's slippery. <laughs> that trick is stupid. So let's just drill. Put in two screws because I'm impatient. I mean, I haven't slept in a while. Yep, and the other one. Perfect, not perfect, but whatever, it doesn't come out in the end, so perfect. And uh, the angle is not great, that is not good, let me try to do something about it. Maybe I undo it slightly. Try to bend it. Uh, it's trying to get back. This sucks. But do I care? Do I really care that much? No. So I just keep going and fix any errors in the end. So like that, okay, drilling the holes, and I don't even care if I go through the material, because it's late, and I can't sleep. Now let's put it together. Yeah. This will be great. Come on, screw. screw oh this one has the bad shape this uh, piece of metal but whatever yeah I don't care Same on the other side, like that, and like that. Does anything matter here? If I... <sighs> yeah, I will just put it there, I don't care. Yeah, that's a better idea. Let's draw the holes here. 
and let's remember how it stays like this because if the shape is different then that's uh, that would suck Like that, let's put in the screws and don't even care. I can't believe I paid one dollar for these. These are absolutely awful. So yeah. And this part can be on top. No problem. <laughs> so this would be bent in the other way. Or in the other direction. But it doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. Don't copy strike me. Nothing will matter to someone. Yeah. Come on. I need space. That was that's what she said before she left. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. And the other part, do I still have some space on the camera? I mean the SD card, yep. So this will be slightly more difficult. And I mounted it wrong. Oh well. Yeah, it will be painted anyway. Because one side is darker and the other one's lighter, but it doesn't matter that much. So this will come here, like uh, this, yeah, it's mostly okay, okay, so let's draw in the holes, I don't have this material, oh yeah, I have some more here for drawing. <laughs> so this will be here. And it this also has a bad shape. Yeah, whatever. What else is new? I don't care. Just go in there and do your job. Bad, good, whatever. I don't care. So can I fit? Yeah, I can fit the drill between these two. But do I want to fit the drill there? No, I don't. What am I saying? <laughs> oh boy. That's just stupid. But uh, yeah. let's put this on. Some more screws.
like that. Draw it here. Yeah, it will be mostly okay. Mostly. Okay. That's just like saying you mostly have a girlfriend, but you don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I have to drill the... This is an important stuff when you put boxes together, like me. You have to drill the other one, um, drill and uh, mark the other part, because then you don't, you can't take it apart anymore. If you screw in that one, this is an important lesson right here that I always forget. Somehow now I remember it. Yeah, this sucks. I don't care. And just the drill gun. That's it. Mount it. Do I still have space? Yes. that is it good no it's not but whatever screw it like that and let's mark the other part too It's not even, but I think I can fix it afterwards if I care enough. Something tells me that I won't. Yep. And these are the last holes. Like that. Okay. Done. Done ski. Let's just put it together and not not do anything for another five years. It will stay the same. Okay. So yeah, that's how you build half a wooden box. You can use it for other things too. And it doesn't have to be red. I mean painted red. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so see the success. <laughs> Here's my box, Micro ATX, and it's even sturdier than I thought. Yeah, and it will be mounted like, like this. And I screwed it up. <laughs> I screwed it up. I really screwed it up. Why? 
<laughs> oh boy, this is embarrassing. What can I do now? <laughs> I think I'll just uh, take another piece of wood. And pretend this never happened. <laughs> like this. It never happened. What? This is perfect. This is what I wanted to do. Come on, man. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah. I don't even have to cut this. And it will be fine. <laughs> okay. Cut the video. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I decided I will just cut off two centimeters here and be done with it. I don't care. Just measure here two centimeters and I'll be done with it. And I don't care if it will be slightly smaller than I planned. Two centimeters are going off. Like here. And I can use this rectangular thingy to mark it properly can I <laughs> let's do more than two centimeters like that and then draw the cutoff piece on the other side too how should I cut this Always hold the bigger part, the heavier part. Like that, and it looks ugly, but nobody cares. Maybe sand it down. Let's mark it here. Is this really two centimeters? Oh, I, it has to be less because I cut into it. No, okay, it's two and something. So let's go uh, on the line. On the line. Yes, and I will correct all these mistakes, no problem. And let's measure again, I mean mark them again, and drill again. So like this. Mark it. Mark the other side. If, if I can. And then drill carefully because this all sucks. So you have to be careful. Like that. The other side, and nobody will know that I made a mistake. Except the internet. I mean, except the internet. The internet will know I goofed.
Okay. Let's see. What else did I miss? Let's use some new screws too. Maybe, I don't know. Nothing makes sense here, so it doesn't matter. Come on. Come on, find the hole. Don't tell me you can't find the hole. Yeah, there it is. And the length is good. Oh boy, I'm excited. Because if the length is good, then all my mistakes will suddenly not matter that much. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, they will still matter. But. Yeah, okay, so I will just have to deal with those metal things and maybe I'll just glue it like that and I don't even care about the metal things. Okay, that's a new idea. So let's see. Just start drilling. That's a good motto. Just drill. Why think? Thinking is for losers. So I'm thinking I just put like one or two screws here and then fill the rest with glue. <laughs> and I don't have to deal with these metal things. So does this drill drill metal? I don't know if it drills metal. Maybe I have to get a different drill. What do I have here? Is this good? What kind of screws will I be using? I'll be using these kind of screws. So let's see. If it doesn't go through, the head will stay. Okay. So this is what I'll use, but first I will drill a smaller hole. I don't want to like uh, strain myself or something. So here and at the half point like that. What? Oh yeah, it's going. Man, this metal is thick, thick. Okay, it passed.
And one more here, maybe. Here. Okay, Phew. now let's go in with the bigger drill, like with this one, because I don't think these screws go through that small hole, no they don't, okay, so let's uh, do it from the other side. Like that. Oh boy, what's happening? It went in. Let's tighten it a bit. Lighten, tighten the bit a bit. Come on. Why is it taking so long? Let me just put a piece of wood here so it doesn't go into my hand oh I get it I don't have any strength okay I'll stop the recording for now I did it, I drilled the holes, so now it fits and I will drill into the wood and put in the screws and then afterwards I will push in the adhesive. I don't have the patience to do it the proper way, I just do it and that's it. Oops. It does matter if this hole is in the middle. This has to be in the middle. Oh boy. This is not good. Okay, now it's in the middle. Like that. And this one, hopefully. Like that. Put in the screws and they are not in straight. But it doesn't matter. Like that. Another screw here. Okay. And on the other side.
this will be slightly easier because this is flat like that let's put in the screw like that and right here the last screw like that and it's almost ready yeah here's the computer case I'll just have to mount the components hang it on the wall and done and paint it of course and push it down put some more here on the trim on the sides okay Yeah, I kind of ruined it here. I got some more energy, so let's fill this gap with uh, silicone, acrylic, whatever, plaster, this thing. Let's just get that cork out, the solidified part, and let's uh, put this in here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just cover the hole, it will be painted red anyway. Yeah, some more in this end. Okay, and now with a high-tech solution, just take your finger and Oh boy, I put too much. I think I put too much. <laughs> Let's put it in the other side. So, let me just show you what an idiot I am. Let's put it in the gap. Let's put some more into the gap. Okay. Now let's see. Did I put too much? Not enough here. Okay. It's important to straighten the uh, stuff in the gap itself, but all this uh, spillage, you can take it off later, that's not important. You can leave it there and when it hardens, it will come off in one, one uh, part, one whatever. Yeah, so what, what's with the other side? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I did something stupid again. Whatever. It will be painted uh, anyway. Yeah. So, I had this other idea. I have a net here. 
mosquito net and I will make a front plate or what do you want to call it a front plate for the computer case which in fact will be on the top so it will let air out hopefully and I have this uh, trim for furniture <laughs> and I'll make a frame out of it I glue the net on this not on this specifically because this is dirty but <laughs> you get the idea so let me see how I can do that get some fresh material I don't know how much I need I cut here and let's measure it let's not damage the net too late it already has glue on it that's bad man Eh, whatever so one part has to reach this like that how boo 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 this is how I have to cut it So it's in its place. And cut. Perfect. I mean, you know, okay. <laughs> Not perfect. But uh, I don't think I need this here in the top. Just here, maybe. Yes. And here to cover the side like that and it will go under the metal like that yep I think so will it be ugly of course <laughs> but uh, yeah and one more identical piece here like that so I don't know how to proceed first glue it on to the onto the chassis because this will be like that so I have to stretch it a bit and something has to hold it I don't know what will hold it uh, I haven't thought this one through but uh, that's boring. <laughs> Thinking is boring. Let's just glue. Yeah, mostly fine, but I think I will have to wait for it to harden so I can stretch it. What shall I do? Just put some trim on it. Okay, that's a better idea. So let's put some glue here. and put on the piece of trim yeah. 
Yeah, this doesn't look that bad. I thought it would look worse, honestly. Let's get that off. Yeah. It won't be perfect, but I think it will do its job. I mean, to prevent things from falling into the computer. That's its main job. So let's put some here. Like that. And where did I put the bigger part? How long is this? Like this. First just push it down and then you can slide it and make it dirty, okay. Yeah, I think it's good. I don't know how it look how it will look final in the final form, but I just keep gluing until Until it looks like something. <laughs> Let's glue this one on. Oh, it's a bit long. So let's cut that part off. Perfect. Nah, not really, but close enough. Like that. Okay, now glue in the inner part. How can I show you that procedure? Eh? Does it hold? Now it holds. Okay. So it's not straight here. But I can. These are not the components I'll be putting into this uh, computer box, whatever HTPC. But uh, they can be used to drill or place the holders for the main board, the hole pattern, or what you call it. So this is what I decided, that the main board will be in this direction. The video card will be here. It will have a place here for a larger cooler if I want to switch. And the power supply will draw air from the bottom and push it out this way. I don't know what this will do. But hopefully the power supply doesn't uh, heat up the air too much, so it should be fine. So, what I will mount these things with, here's an L bracket, I think you call it. This is perfect 
for here it matches the hole and I'll just drill into the wood this this will be the hanger I will hang the case by this piece of plastic it's really sturdy and this will connect to a screw on the wall but I can't mount this yet because first I have to uh, install all the components and see where the uh, center of gravity is. So I want to, this box to stay vertical, perfectly vertical on the wall. So I have to find where to put this exactly when all the weight is added. So uh, yeah, so it will stay straight. Then I mount it here. What else? What else? So this is a mainboard stand. Focus. Yeah, whatever. You know what it, what it looks like. With a screw. So I'll be putting uh, pieces of uh, this particle board or wood or whatever. I will glue this on the... This uh, metal plate drill a hole in it and put in the mainboard holder i will lose one centimeter maybe of the height of the case but that's not a problem because i uh, made it 18 centimeters tall so it should be fine for any tall cooler or whatever everything will fit that's not a real problem and uh, yeah, after I put in this, I can paint the case and uh, yeah, that will be almost ready with all the mounting points and whatever. Maybe I have to put in some brackets for an SSD or something and I want to put some screws here sticking out so i can pull in the cables the extra cables that you saw on my wall going in all directions from the <laughs> computer i want to pull those in so they won't be in the way all over the place so that's the thinking here the cables will come from the ports maybe twist a couple times and then move out to the uh, speakers and the monitor I'll have wireless internet, wireless keyboard and mouse. So, yeah, maybe 10 out of 15 cables will be eliminated. And uh, most of it put in, so the wires will just go straight, not all over the place. So, yeah, that's the hope, and uh, we'll see <laughs> what the result will be. Yeah. Man plans and uh, God ruins the plans. How does that saying go? So the easiest way to line up the holes <laughs> of the motherboard is to mount these uh, pieces of wood with the motherboard holder, support, whatever, inside, uh, mounted on with screws. And then... You just put uh, glue on it and put it down on the flat metal sheet. Or if you're doing a wood case, then on wood or on plastic, whatever. And it will be almost perfect. Now what I didn't uh, take into account, <laughs> in take into calculation, is that the main board is bent by the cooler. So that... Uh, that may be a problem. I'll first I will put down the main board with the glue on the pieces of wood, but uh, then I'll have to loosen the screws because uh, they are not laying flat because the main board is bent by the cooler. So yeah, that's uh, a little tweaking of the plans, but it won't be a problem. I'll even take off the main board after that. It's no problem, it's just for placement. You want to place it exactly in, in the right place and then 
you can remove the main board it's no problem maybe slide it a, a little slide the pads a little if you notice that they moved or something and uh, just let it uh, harden let the glue do its job just like spreading thermal paste yeah this one and then push it down i mean place it and then let's see about pushing because it may be a little bit complicated with the band name board i didn't count on that so it will stay here yes push it down slightly i can hear the glue settling move it a little back and forth and then loosen the screws because it's not laying flat but the glue is holding it in place so it won't move i'll even remove the main board that's the clearest solution because i see that the pads are staying in their place and afterwards i can check through the holes if you look through the screw holes you should see the mounting uh, point come on yeah okay like that wait this didn't come out okay everything is in their place and just push it down some more so it will be flat it moves a little that's not a problem i will adjust it in a minute there's also some dust in the case that is also not a problem so push this down yes and this okay so let's check did they stay in place oh here's a let's get out the screws that's all of them and let's see did they move well this should go a bit on the left yes it's moving easily this should come down and the other one should come down just a bit okay so i just remove this and slide this one just a little bit like that okay and let it uh, dry maybe one more check like there 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 perfect okay now we'll have to wait for it to dry then i'll paint the interior black and the exterior will be red and wherever i feel like it's not looking good i will just glue on one of these <laughs> strips <laughs> to cover problems mistakes i think the case is ready to be painted what i added was this little bracket which will hold the graphics card i will add a wire here or a piece of wood or piece of plastic something that will hold the gra graphics card and i also added three screws here just to tie the cables to it so yeah and also i decided to not paint the interior 
I do, nobody looks inside. It makes no sense to paint it. I leave it as is. So, let's get some painting. Painting, painting. Yeah, maybe I paint a little, but for another reason. And the reason is, the brush is already black, so I have to paint a little until all the black comes out, I think. <laughs> Maybe paint on the paper, yeah, like that, yeah, I don't think it matters, it's, so it will have a little black in the red, no big deal. So. I will turn it upside down and paint around, <laughs> I think. Or how can I paint this? Yeah, I can hold it from the inside and from the bottom like that. And uh, yeah, just get rid of the dust. And I paint, I paint the delicate parts last, the top and the bottom, that would, that would be a bit different, I mean, more difficult. So, here's the $2 paint, let's open it, I already shook it, and let's see how many coats will it take to fully cover the black. No more dust, hey. Get yourself off off of here. Yeah, okay. Let's get painting. I'll put the paint here. Hopefully it won't spill anywhere. So let's see. Red paint, red paint with a little water and black paint, red paint, red paint. So I'm brushing vertically. This will be vertical. I think that's the best way to go, not sideways. But we'll see. We'll see the result. If it sucks really bad, then I made a mistake. Yeah. But the lighting is very bad. I can't really see where I already painted. So yeah, this will be a multi-coat job, almost 100%, because it's not covering it properly, red on black. But it's no problem. Oh, this is a problem. Wait, 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 it's spilling, it's spilling. Oh, just saved it. Don't spill over there, man. That needs to be black. Okay, that was an emergency. Just vertically, vertically, vertically. Brushing vertically. Like that. This was the handle of the side panel. 
we don't care about it anymore so this is crappy oil based paint I mean uh, uh, Al-Qaedic al -Qaedic paint but it's oil, oil paint at least that's what we used to call it back in the day yeah almost done Yeah, I call this one coat. Just go through it once more. To brush from one, one side to the other. So it will have uh, continuous lines. Maybe. Okay. That's one side. <sighs> so. The other sides, uh, I'm a genius, you know. I will have to put it on something with raise it, but eh, I don't know. <sighs> think, man, think. Oh, here's the red stuff, red thing and it will be fine so let's see painting the side painting the side painting the side But it's still not good that I can't see anything. Am I so tired or why can't I see it? The light is from a bad angle. Now, now it's much better. Okay. And the camera sees it too. Okay. Oh boy, I painted where I shouldn't have. That is bad. I messed up the front panel. Let me try to wipe it off. That's bad. But hopefully, I can just wipe my mistake. If I can't wipe it, then I'll have to cover it up with something. Eh. <laughs> complete idiot whatever I messed up something even that worse <laughs> but as long as it's painted I don't care Yeah. 
go. And here. Some will spill inside, but that's not a problem. Just cover, paint everything red. Okay, that's enough, so let's see, how can I move this case? To turn it, turn it, I say, turn, yeah, like that, okay. I didn't get any paint on me. Haha. <laughs> so, one more side here. And it's done. I mean, the first coat is done. Then we'll have to wait for it to dry. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, yeah, I can paint the remaining side. Just a small strip here in the top. Yeah, this will be the top. Paint that, then it's done. And wipe my mistakes. <laughs> Okay, it's enough of painting and let's get a paper towel here to wipe off the mess. Eh? Doesn't want to wipe. Eh, whatever. It's fine. So that's it for now. This is the old HTPC wall mounted computer. As you can see it's very dusty. It been, it's been sitting there a while. Just almost, almost non-stop turned on. And uh, yeah, let's take it apart. Take out all the parts, which are not many. Just the main board and graphics card a really old one like uh, ATI Radeon 5550 with half a gig of RAM it's uh, the oldest generation supported by Windows 10 maybe they'll cut support soon so yeah I need to get a newer old video card soon uh, yeah, 
I didn't even have this small fan connected. <laughs> the wires are in the air because it uh, it was very loud. But I was able to connect it to the directly to the video card's output and it uh, used it uh, with temperature control. So when it was cold, it was less noisy. But yeah, these small uh, fans, especially the cheap ones, don't last very much. I mean very long, as it's a period of time. Yeah, it's all dusty. You can probably see it all. And here it says 512 meg. That's how much VRAM it has. And still works with HDMI, DVI, VGA, and it can run some games. <laughs> yeah. This is a this this card survived a lot. Let me see if there's a date on it. Just a product number here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, there's no date, I, I think. Maybe under the cooler. Whatever. It has served me well and probably will serve me in the future now here's the <laughs> yeah uh, vibration reduction mounting with a rubber band for the fan which is quite noisy when it's at full speed and the rubber band is disintegrating because it doesn't like heat and uh, this is a uh, my do-it-yourself DIY uh, cooler mounting solution. It's a wrench with two zip ties. Yeah, that's how you can mount a cooler easily onto a, an FM2 plus socket. Let's clean it a bit. It's been working well. Uh, 65 watt uh, processor, 65 watt cooler so yeah there is some dust in there but I don't know how to get it out it's in there deep eh, I don't even care whatever let's just take out the main board take out some SATA cables because we we are only gonna use one one SSD I previously had a laptop hard drive in it also for storing stuff, but I don't think I need that anymore. I'll move that over to the other computer for storage. I mean backup, storage, whatever. And this plug doesn't want to come out. Yeah. It's too new and it has some problems on this hook but yeah it probably won't be undone anymore oh there's the <laughs> wi-fi adapter i almost broke it it was in the port okay yeah so here it is oh i have the power plug power switch and the power led no, hard drive LED connected to it with a long wire, long cable. So yeah, 8 gigs of RAM, quad core AMD CPU. This is perfectly fine for an HTPC. Oh boy, <laughs> the, the wrench is slightly rusted. How did, how did moisture get in? That's 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 an interesting one because nothing else is corroded. So I don't know. Let's just clean it.
and do, try not to breathe in, just breathe out. Yeah. Wear a face mask. Okay. It's clean. And I have to attach this in a better way somehow. Or put on a bigger fan. Just leave this here. Wait, I can put one of these screws here. I mean two of them. On each corner. And... Uh, I have to see how loud it gets. If it's not too loud, I'll just leave it like that. You have to screw it in between the fins. And I have another screw somewhere. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? What? Oh, here it is. It was in the small fan. Good as new. Yeah, tighten it slightly because it will get loud. Maybe blow on it. <coughs> oh yeah, that got rid of some dust. Yeah, okay, this is done. Let me just dust the VGA card and we can move on to the power supply and then the other case, the new case, the red case. Okay, so let's get the power supply. It's also a bit dusty, but yeah. So this, this is not the there's a 400 watt power supply inside because this one burned out and uh, yeah i just bought the cheapest 10 dollar <laughs> uh, five uh, 400 watt power supply and put it in here with the big fan and the uh, uh, vibration reduction mounting system whatever so this is quite silent connected to uh, what did I connect it to? 7 volts, yeah. I connected it to 7 volts. I'll just leave that intact. And here's the SSD. <laughs> Not dusty at all. Okay. And here's the one LED and the power button. I use it to control the computer rem uh, remotely from a distance. Yeah. This is like more than a meter long cable. It's from a USB and I can just plug it in like a normal front uh, header, whatever. Okay, time to say goodbye to this junk case. Maybe reuse these screws yeah and let's begin putting stuff into the new case focus white balance something no whatever it's behaving quite strangely but whatever okay so Oh, I have to find a screw, uh, a long screw that I can use for the power supply. I don't know where I put that. Oh boy, that's embarrassing because uh, not any screw. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I can use a standard screw, no problem. Okay, so no problem. <laughs> Let me just blow on the power supply. Uh, fuck. Yeah, you didn't hear that. Okay. 
there's a spider inside somewhere nah, no problem it will be fried so the power supply according to my plans will stay like this it will rest on this uh, bent metal here it's like a bar that is uh, strengthening the side panel it was made like that so this will just rest there and connect here with one screw let's find an appropriate size screw I have a bunch here from all types of things oh I have a really long one too if it if I can't find one that reaches but this will be okay slightly shorter and uh, it has a ruined <laughs> it's ruined so perfect I won't miss this and how do I put it in and how do I turn it I have to get the tip of the electric screwdriver here and I can screw it in is it straight oh yeah okay it just doesn't want to what's going on here it's already tightened no it just has it's a bad screw whatever good enough i don't care okay it's not going into anything i shouldn't care okay so let's see this fan maybe clean it a bit oh boy i have to vacuum after this this is just bad oh boy if you could see all the dust oh and this sucks okay <laughs> that that's a problem for another day i'm not going to replace that fan now just put in the main board as i designed it like this oh take out the screws stupid me because i was so smart that i put in some screws here and they are all the same type as you can see <laughs> yeah two are almost identical but the rest whatever can they hold in the main board i think so will somebody ever see them no so they are perfect for this job oh and i have a lot of space here uh because i designed the i designed the case with another main board with a bigger main board that's uh future proofing <laughs> because maybe i will uh, replace this main board with something else so yeah that was a good move with a bigger i designed it with a bigger m80x main board so it has uh, more room in the basically this is the back or front the front and uh, the top also has more room If I ever decide to put in a better main board, but yeah, this is good enough. And one more screw here, and I can reach it with my hand. This is perfect. Not many computer cases allow that. I can reach every screw. Oh boy. 
that's a luxury right there and I didn't even cut my hand yet yeah tighten those down not too much but tight okay let's see how the plugs will go so this reaches uh, <laughs> perfectly yeah this reaches really well right there now hold the back of the circuit board i mean main board to not bend it or break it and uh, it's in i think okay 12 volt oh boy this has two even though it's a 400 watt power supply it has a double okay if they say so i don't think it can output that much power for main boards that use both plugs eight pins yeah that was wishful thinking so let's see yeah this is a SATA and an ID power here's the SSD I don't I didn't even make a mounting for this maybe I just put it here with a screw or just in the bottom uh, this this doesn't matter it doesn't even heat up so yeah and let's see the graphics card like this and I have to design something to hold it in place it clicked okay but it it's not good not not a good idea to leave it like this so I was thinking that's why I put this one here so I can make a holder let me just cut off this exposed end that's not a good idea to have an exposed wire here so let's uh, put it in like this bend it maybe like that bend it up so it doesn't move in any direction like that and maybe form a triangle like this and bend it around the board I mean video card like that and like that and we have a graphics card holder it doesn't move perfect yeah everybody agrees perfect I will just no it is staying it won't move then it's good then I can tighten it some more so to minimize the play e not such a good idea but uh, yeah it's still okay whatever it, it doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> so yeah this one is plugged in then the ssd will just hang around somewhere one on one of these screws maybe i don't even care let's see or maybe back there whatever but this cable has to reach the SATA port here oh yeah I didn't plan for that so this will be in port 3 or 4 
Well, it doesn't matter if you only have one. If you only have one SSD, nobody cares in which port you put it. Come on. It's in. Oh, and I shouldn't leave the cable there. Okay, that's a bad idea. Move the cable from the graphics cards fan. So then maybe I put the put it here on the power supply, whatever. I don't know. Maybe it will hang around here. Just like that. Or with this second mounting point here. Does it reach? No, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, it will just stay here. Get the wires out of the way of the fan. Maybe gravity will take care of that. Here's a cable that's not used. So yeah, I think this is finished. All it remains is to wire it up. Put in this uh, front header, which is... Uh, where are the power switches and stuff? Yeah, wherever. <laughs> <laughs> That's the audio. USB, USB, front panel, okay. And power, LED, whatever. Okay, that's where it goes. And you can only plug it in one way. Switch. That will switch on the computer when I press it. Okay. Let's progress. And all it remains is to do the wiring, pull in the cables here and tie them down to these screws. And uh, yeah, it's almost done. <laughs>